in the tech world and in the business world, it is now more important than ever to stay up to date with all the latest marketing trends. And the guy who does that for us is Shelly Palmer. He's our tech expert, and he has some great ways to future-proof your job and stay competitive in the job market. One thing that we always hear is do all the social media. Just be active on social media. So being active on social media is great, but you have to do it with a purpose. So you, if you're a baby boomer, you're going to have almost 12 jobs between 18 and 48 and millennials may change jobs as often as every two years. So you really have to start thinking of, of your job as a project as opposed to a full-time job. And you have to think about it the way a consultant would think about it as opposed to the way an employee would think about it, which means you have to take your career in your own hands. Social media is important if you are relentlessly networking, not only um, using your computer, but actually going to networking events. You use the social media tools to research who you're going to see at a business event and then walk up to them, get a business card, then use social media afterwards to make sure you're in a contact to make a business relationship happen. You also have to think about getting famous. And getting famous using social media doesn't mean getting Kimye famous. It means getting famous inside of your world. So. Ask your company's permission to start your own blog and then prove to the world that you are a, a huge expert in what you are good at by your writings. And then, of course, use social media to promote it. That can be problematic, though, if you uh, have poor grammar, if you're not a good speller, if you if all those say things are true, provocative <laughs> things. If all those things are true, you have a much larger problem about future-proofing your job than just trying to get out there. And by the way, blogs don't have to be 2,000 words. A blog can be 300 words with a picture and a couple of links out to other sites that are, ex that are expert um, favorites so that you are putting yourself inside of a community of people who are expert at the job. The goal is to say, what would the person at my next job, or wh where do I want to be, what would that person be doing right now? Could I do my boss's job? Could I be better? Could I be more productive? So the tools you want to use uh, if you're going to use social media and your computer, then use them to future-proof your job. Shelley, are all social media platforms created equal, or is one more important than the others? Some people will tell you that LinkedIn is only for going to get a job, but actually LinkedIn has a way that you can post like a blog, and you can then get people to endorse you. Facebook is amazing for your close friends. It's usually not so great for business. Twitter is fantastic to almost broadcast out to the world. And you wouldn't know this, but Snapchat and Instagram and Pinterest are amazing if you're in the visual arts. If you're doing something that's creative, you could accomplish a lot more in a picture Instagram environment or Pinterest environment than you can in a straight LinkedIn environment. So you have to match your skills to the social network that's best for you. Mm. You always kind of like that, that slippery, slippery slope, though. You know, sometimes we, we get a little bit too comfortable with social media. Sometimes, you know, you've got, you go out with your friends, you start taking pictures, you start writing things. Yeah, what's things. the right tone? So, yeah, the right tone the right, so the right tone is always comport yourself like you're a star, not a social media star. Like, just you want to comport yourself the way you want people to perceive you so that your online presence and your offline presence match. And if In that's true... In other words, true, don't drink alcohol and then go Do not blogging. drunk text. Right. <laughs> In drunk. other words, pretend like you're always on a job interview. That's right. Yeah. Basically. That's exactly right. And if you use your social tools that way, and if you approach your job as if it's a project because you know you're going to have another one pretty soon, so what's the next hiring manager going to be thinking about your blog? All right, Shelly. Shelly, thanks very much. Thanks so much. ShellyPalmer.com. Get all your info there. All right.